Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and this video is a little bit different this one. I'm going to be having a bit of a rant in this video. I don't think I've done that before actually on this channel. Um, but we'll see how it does and uh, if it does well I might do some more. But this is concerning the media, um, the mail. In fact they're all the same aren't they? They really really hype things up don't they? The papers. They hype things up, they give these uh, fantastic headlines that grab your attention and what they do is they basically get it technically right and but, but they just blow everything up. So they just blow everything up. So what this is, it's a mail article and this was sent to me by Lee, so thanks very much for Lee for sending it me. And it's from the Mail Online and they said, look up tonight, and this is for the 7th of September, which is a Saturday when I'm filming this. If you're watching this after the 7th of September, you might be led to believe that you can't see the planet Saturn after tonight. But that's wrong. What they've done is they've put the headline here. It says, look up tonight. There's a once in a year opportunity to see Saturn this evening. People are probably looking at that and thinking, oh my God, I better go out and look tonight and see if I can see Saturn, because if I don't see it tonight, I won't see it again for the rest of the year. But that's just the headline, you see. They play tricks, don't they? They play tricks with the headline. Here's how to spot the ring planet. So what they've actually done there is they've taken the fact that Saturn is at opposition, which means that the Earth and the Sun and the planet Saturn, which has a 29 and a half year orbit of the Sun, that is a long time. It's nine, it's at nine AU, an astronomical unit. Saturn is so far away, it's nine astronomical units away from the Sun. An astronomical unit is the mean distance between the Earth and the Sun. So that gives you some idea of how far away Saturn is in its orbit and why it takes 29 years to orbit the Sun because it's nine times further away. And by the way, an AU works out at around about 93 million miles, or if you want to use kilometers, 150 million kilometers. So we line up once every year and that's what the headline is all about. It basically means that we get the best view of the planet, the brightest view, and also the largest view of the planet. But it doesn't come down to one day. What they're trying to say in the headline, what, what it, it, it comes through as, is if you miss seeing the planet on this particular day, the day of exact opposition, when everything is exactly in line, that you won't be able to see the planet again. And that's what a lot of people will look at it and think that way, but that is not the case. You, you, we've been able to see Saturn. And in fact, we were looking at Saturn back in August when we were watching the Perseids. Saturn is there. It's not very high in the sky. If you look out, if you go out tonight or any other night in the next week or so or in the next month, you will see Saturn. It won't get up very high. It's only around about a quarter to a third of the way up. If you're at a mid-latitude, I'm at 53 degrees north and it gets to around about 25 degrees up at the very best. So you wanna go out to around about 11 o'clock, midnight-ish, and that's gonna be the best time because you're gonna see Saturn towards the southern part of the sky. If you uh, go out a little bit later, you'll see it slap bang towards the south and that's when it'll get to its highest point. Saturn will reach opposition today as I'm filming this video, Saturday the 7th of September. Um, so everything all lines up so you get the best view. Now another thing about Saturn, I'll just go on to the, uh, on to the next one. If you're a fan of stargazing, which I am, I don't know a lot of you are, because you wouldn't be watching this if you weren't, would you? Make sure you have this evening marked off on your diary. Now most of you watching this are watching it after September the 7th. But don't worry, you can see Saturn for the rest of the year. It just won't be exactly lined up with the Earth and the Sun. But that doesn't matter because you can still see Saturn. You can see those amazing rings. And by the way, you would probably need, um, I advise using binoculars, or maybe if you want to see the rings, if you want to actually see the rings, 
you're better off looking for a telescope, something like a reflector telescope or something like that is advisable. But you can definitely see Saturn right through the autumn and probably into the winter. I'm not sure how it goes as we go. Obviously, you can't see all of the planets all of the time, but, but you can certainly sat see Saturn for quite a bit longer. You don't need to worry about seeing it on, on the night of opposition. But the way that they word it is, there's a once in a a year opportunity it's just the meat is just hyping things up and, and giving people a false impression of something that you can actually see not all year round but you can certainly see see it for half of the year and then the other half of the year it'll be lost in the the sun the sunlight during the day so you wouldn't be able to see it during the day but uh, another thing I want to talk about Saturn is it's an amazing planet and I want you to get out there and see if you can see it. Look towards the south or the, maybe the southeast if, you, if you're out early. If you're out after midnight, you're looking sort of roughly south, you'll see um, a, a, a bright speck. It's not very bright, but it'll certainly stand out amongst all the background stars because it'll be a lot brighter than the background stars. Look around about a quarter of the sky up if you're at a mid latitude, something like 50 odd degrees or something like that. And also, if you do get a chance to see it with the telescope, you'll notice that the rings, the rings of the planet are almost tilted towards straight. They're almost edge on, as it were. They're getting towards edge on. They're going to be fully edge on like that in March next year. And, and I've heard that you might not even be able to see them because the ring system, the actual depth of the rings is only about 10 meters which when you think of the size of the planet and the ring system that goes all the way around it the actual depth of the rings which i see like i basically just ice and that's why they're so reflective is only about 10 meters roughly yeah that's nothing compared to the size of the planet which is absolutely huge it's a vast planet but a very it, it there's no density to it you could literally float it on a bath of water if you had a bath big enough because there's no density to, to Saturn but yeah the rings and the it, it's not the planet doing that by the way it, it, the planet isn't moving it's basically just the way we see it as it as it goes around uh, we get to see the rings on one side we get to see the top side and then as it um, I don't know how often it is but every so often they'll tilt and we'll get to see the rings the other side and in between we'll get to see the rings edge on or at least we might not be able to see them when they're edge on because uh, they'll just look like a very very slim disc across there but there you go that's my little rant video there about the media hyping up the opposition of saturn and don't forget there's also jupiter as well jupiter can have an opposition as well you basically when you look at the planet you will not see any kind of shadow cast on the planet because the sun is shining straight on it when a planet isn't at opposition or when it's some way off opposition you will see a slight shadow you'll see uh, it won't be a full planet, should I say. It's like the moon. When when you, when you see a full moon, you're getting to see the sunlight blast straight onto the moon. So you get to see the whole disk. Now, when it's not a full moon, or when it's to one side, or when it's to the other side, you'll notice it's dark on one side, or dark on the other side. And it's the same, it's pretty much the same thing with the planets, although these are outer planets. So, yeah, so that's the only thing that you're missing you're just not getting that full-on sunshine blasting down on the planet at opposition so there you go that's my little rant video don't worry you can get out there and see saturn certainly um you've been able to see saturn earlier this year and we'll continue to be able to see it as we go along and don't forget jupiter is a bit easier to see jupiter gets a lot higher up so you can certainly have a good chance to see Jupiter if you don't get a chance to see Saturn. So that's my little rant video about Saturn. Naughty Daily Mail, eh? What are they like? Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you like it. Look out for the next one and don't forget to keep looking up.